Hello and welcome to another video on Toon Boom Tips here. Uh, this one is going to be a little bit about the art layers. What are they and specifically how to reorder them because they come in a set order of four going from overlay, line art, color art and underlay that order away from the camera. So the overlay always appears on top but how do we reorder them and set them in that order even if we want to draw with them in the other order? Sounds confusing? It is a little bit, but if you want to understand it, then watch the rest of this video. So, as you can see for our example here, I've got a couple of house plants, some pot plants, and what I want to do, it's quite a simple trick, I've drawn them in. I'm going to show you in the node view, because you should get used to using this. Um, the, the timeline is, is very nice and simple to look at, but if I expand everything, it can be a little bit complicated to understand how things are put together. So the node view, which is used in most studios and for rigs a lot in animation, is a very nice, easy, simple way to lay things out visually and see how they interact with one another. This is a drawing and this is the peg. So this pot drawing has a peg so I can move it around and it has a master peg which moves both the plant and the pot. The same for the plant as a drawing and a peg. Now what I want to do is I want to slot this plant into the pot. So I want it to appear in front of the back part of the pot, but um, behind this front piece. So it looks like it's actually layered. Um, but I don't want to do it by adding a new drawing altogether. I want to keep the drawing of the plant pot. If I go to the drawing tab, click this I to show all the art layers. I want to keep it like this because then when I'm drawing it, I don't want to have to jump between different actual drawing layers to complete the drawing. And this is one of the powerful features of Toon Boom. It allows you to take a drawing, work with it on one image, on one layer, yet separate out those art layers. And that's what these are. If you keep hearing me mention the term art layers and you're like, what are you talking about? Each individual drawing has four art layers by default. Okay, so it's overlay, line art, color art, underlay. And in um, default order, they run down from this eye. Imagine this eye is the camera. The overlay is closest uh, right to the underlay, which is furthest away. You don't see any sort of layering here in the, in the actual drawing itself. It's just self-contained. So if I press O to jump to this drawing, there's just one frame of this drawing. And inside there are these four art layers. We always have the option of drawing on any four, but we can just draw on one. There's no need to use them all unless you need to. Um, and importantly, you don't have to use the line art for line art, the color for color. This is just kind of a default thing, um, a bit of a hangover from when Toon Boom was just more of a traditional package. Uh, line and color um, are normally traditionally used for line and color, but there's no reason why you can't move them around through the different art layers. And you can reorder these as well. So it really doesn't matter which art layer you put them on. Um, it's just more of a, a, a term to get used to, I, I guess. So what we need to do is um, I want to keep this pot, like I said, in this format. I don't want to break it up. And I'm going to show you the method of kind of splitting those art layers without separating the parts of the pot into different drawing layers altogether to make it sandwich around this plant. Um, this is really useful for kind of like something static. So when you want to build something and you want it to be there and set um, and you don't really want to have to, you know, you're not going to be animating these parts. You don't want to animate the front part of the pot and so on. So this is really useful and really commonly used in animation studios when, for example, you have a hand and you might have the drawing of the hand on the line art and then on the overlay you might have um, a piece that if there's a prop and the character's holding it and you've got some fingers in front of that prop to make it look like the hand is wrapped around the prop, you might put them on the overlay and then you, you'd use a similar method to this um, or you could use a slightly different one where you can um, animate or uh, keyframe the Z depth of the thing in front. But more about that in a different video. This one's more about just the, the basic understanding of reordering things for something like an illustration like this. So you can get things set up, um, background elements or whatever else you need to, and, uh, and just set them ready in your rig. So how are we going to do this? Well, let me just look at the pot itself. So we've got the line and the color, and then the overlay has the piece in it that I want to appear in front of the plant. Yeah. So the easy way to do this is to just hit um, the return key 
with your mouse over the node view in Harmony 20, that's the search function for the node library, and I'm going to type in overlay. This is an art layer filter. It isolates the art layer, the overlay. So when I plug this in to here, let me just move this composite down so there's a bit more room. So we're just dealing with this, this plant pot and this plant here. When I plug this overlay in, it's an, importantly another sort of like tangent coming out from this collection of drawings in here. So all the art layers are contained in there. It's going to plug into the composite, which uh, groups everything together to show us what we're working with. I'm going to plug it in on the left side of the plant because in terms of what happens here, the little yellow box of the composite, think again, that's the camera and going left to right is from the camera further away. That's by default because we can animate Z depth in Toon Boom. So we can kind of like change that around. But that's a little bit complicated for now. We're just doing the, uh, the reordering. So just on the default level, how to reorder it. So we've added this overlay filter in. So I, I hit return, started typing overlay and then clicked it and it appeared. Um, by the way, if you do accidentally do something like this, where you click overlay and it, it attaches itself into another tangent, just hold down the alt or the option key on a Mac and it will allow you to ping it out of there and then let go with your mouse um, or the click to remove it first. Because the Alt key is like a quick way to snap something into like a tangent. So now we've got it fixed. Now the plant is fits nicely inside the pot and the pot itself, importantly, can be moved around and it will always kind of like slot into the plant. Then if we click the top peg, we can move both of them around. So that's really handy. The uh, shadows have been drawn on a separate layer, which is why that's staying put. Now, just as a little bonus feature, um, because I don't want to leave you hanging with that extra information and I've changed my mind, I'm going to show you the other way as well, because I mentioned it. For example, if you want the ability to keyframe that overlay layer, there's a slightly different way of doing that. Like I said about the hand, um, you generally will find animation studios will give you the option to have a peg attached to like the overlay part of, I don't know, some fingers wrapping around a prop. Even though you're not going to probably animate that away from the hand, you might need the ability to key it forward in Z depth. So bring it closer to the camera, um, even if it's set up default correct. So I'm going to show you the other option for that. And I'm going to do this one on the third plant here. So let me just zoom into this. So I'm going to do the same thing again, but um, with the pot in terms of, let me just show you, this pot is separated out just the same way. But instead of bringing in an overlay here, I'm going to copy and paste just a Control C, Control V, Command C, Command V on a Mac, um, the actual drawing here. And this is a clone, so it will uh, basically inherit all the properties. So if I change the drawing on this pot three, it will change it on pot three underscore one. Um, and we want those to be linked together because if you think about the hand example again, um, if the hand changes, I don't want the knuckles left over from the previous hand. I want them to change in sync. I'm going to connect this one up to the left hand side because I want it to be on top of the um, plant. And I'm going to connect it up. I'm going to give it its own peg, Command P or Control P. Don't worry about it being here, it's because it's not actually connected up to anything right now. Confuse myself then for a second. Um, and this one, in fact, before I give it a peg, I'm going to rename it. So just click the yellow box to open the properties. OL, yeah. And I'm going to give it a peg now. Control P or Command P is the shortcut when the drawing is selected. And this will then, when it hooks up to here, will jump back to the, its correct place. It's because it was um, a copy of this one. I did a, a duplicate and then I moved it. So it was a different kind of, it wasn't a clone of the same thing. That allowed me to use it as the pot as a basis for this pot. So I was kind of speeding things up a bit. So I've, I've basically copied and pasted Control C, Control V, this drawing. Um, I, I click the yellow box and renamed it with an OL at the end of it, just so I know it's the overlay. And then whilst that drawing was selected, I pressed Control P or Command P to give it a peg. And I made that peg a child of this um, main pot peg. So as I move it around, it will move, but um, I could potentially move this one separately. But at the moment, it looks exactly the same. 
Yeah, and the reason why that is uh, essential is, like I said, we can bring it forwards and backwards if we need to. But at the moment, we we still have all the art layers showing. So we could put an overlay uh, filter on this one, like we did over here. We could just copy and paste this. But to keep things simpler, you can just go inside the properties again, click the drawing tab, and turn off actual art layers here. So I've turned off everything except the overlay. So it's kind of like exactly the same as the art layer filters. You just don't have an extra node in there. And now, for example, we could you can see move that around and that's obviously not going to be useful but it allows you to move it in Z depth so I'm I'm moving it massive amounts here just to show you the example but I'm bringing it closer um, and further pushing it further away from the camera and that will give you the option to keyframe this one further forward if you needed to nudge something slightly further forward because you've played around with Z depth so this one doesn't give you that option um, without making a few extra changes um, so this is a simple way to allow you to keyframe the overlay layer and there we go that's our uh, that's how we do our overlay and that's how we bring certain parts of the same drawing closer and reorder those art layers i hope this video has been useful and thanks for watching